Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and this is the project we're making today. The card opens up just like that. Okay, so here's the supplies. We've got Granny Apple Green, and this measure is five and a half by eight and a half. And then we have a scrap of Granny Apple Green to cut out this little speech bubble here. Uh, we've got scraps of basic white. We have three pieces of designer series paper. This measures four by two and a half, and these measure four by one and a quarter. The two stamp sets that we're using today is Conversation Bubbles, and then the Celebration Set Adorable Owls. Okay, so let's make this card. We're gonna start out by stamping our images, and that is on this piece here. We're gonna be using Memento Ink. Let me slide these out of the way. Now let's color. We're using crumb cake, granny apple green, pumpkin pie, and petal pink. I'll start with the petal pink, and the only place is just his ears. And you could use pumpkin pie if you want. And then now the pumpkin pie. Granny apple green. So I have blue eyes. My sister has, um, my sister Kim has green eyes and then my baby sister has brown eyes. So you can color your owl's um, eyes any color that you want. <laughs> that was my point. Okay, um, I forgot to color the bow because I was talking. Now I'm gonna come in with that dark. Okay, dark crumb cake. And now the light. Pretty cute, right? So now we're going to fussy cut the owl. If you want, you can just stamp it on that stitch circle, but I like popping it up, okay. So let's go ahead and die cut our greeting out and then our stitch circle. So we're using the speech conversation bubbles, I call them speech bubbles, conversation bubbles. So we're gonna cut this out, the greeting, and then we're gonna cut out the granny apple green layer. Okay, so that and then the stitch circle. I cannot get a hold of these this morning. Slide everything over. Let's start with our circle. Don't forget that this little um, blue die cut machine is available during celebration when you join as a demonstrator. Okay, so there's that circle. Okay, now for this one. Someone asked me if it's if this machine slid on the desk. It doesn't, but it slides on paper because it does have um, rubber stoppers on the bottom, but that doesn't work on cards or uh, this paper. You know what I'm saying? Okay, one more. Okay, the last one is the greeting. And I will say that this can shift. 
So you might want to use some washi tape or purple tape or something uh, to hold it in place. I'm actually going to use the purple tape. Well, Okay, we should be done with all the die cutting. So I'm going to save my purple tape for another use. Okay, so we've got our owl, our thank you, our circle, our frame. This is for later. We don't need that on this card. And now let's make our card. You're going to need your paper trimmer. And the first thing you're going to do is score it at four and a quarter like normal, okay? So the light, the light one. And then I like to make sure that they line up, okay? And you can see I'm about a smidge off. So make sure you're not a smidge off. I can fix that by kind of um, refolding it. Hopefully that makes sense. And then I'm going to burnish it with my bone folder, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut down to the one and three eighths on here and then up one and three eighths. So the way that we do that is we turn our trimmer and what we're gonna do is line this up. Am I doing this right? Yeah, so we're gonna line up this score line in the track, okay? So it's in the track, you can see here. And then I'm gonna bring my blade up and I'm gonna cut down to one and three eighths. And so the one and three eighths that I'm looking at is right here on this side. And I've added a piece of tear and tape so that I can see um, the numbers, okay? Let me make sure this is in place. And I'm cutting down to one and three eighths. And the one and three eighths is the large mark, not the small one before the one and a half. Okay, so there's that one. And then we want to cut across. So we're gonna line this side up to the one and three eighths. So there's one and a half. So we come back one big mark and there's one and a half, or one and three eighths. So actually it's better just to start over here, okay? Start at the top and then go down to the four and a quarter. Okay, there's that one, it scraps. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the bottom. Okay, so now the orientation is like this. We're gonna place it back into the trimmer. And again, the score line is in the track and we're going to cut down to one and three eighths again. So that's the magic number is one and three eighths. Okay, see that? And then now we need to just cut straight across. So we have it this way, and we're gonna line it up at the one and three eighths. And we're gonna cut from the edge to the four and a quarter. And there's our other piece of scrap. So this is our card front. So if you see this right here, it's a little not perfect. You could just use your paper snips and fix that. Okay, and then this one. There we go. Okay, so it opens up like that. And we're gonna add our designer series paper. So this one's gonna go here, this one down here, and this one in the middle. I've got my liquid glue. This is the Dandy Designs uh, paper. It is only available for a short time. I am stocking up on it myself. I love it, I love all the colors. Yeah, it's only available January and February. Now this one.
and this one. So when you leave a comment on this video, I'd like to know what your favorite celebration item is. Yeah, we have quite a few items in the catalog, so what is your favorite? Okay, now we're gonna work on this layer here. So we are going to add just a little bit of glue. Now you could use the adhesive sheets if you want. And I think it's best to add another white layer. So this piece here that you cut out when you cut out the greeting, it's best to actually use two layers. Hopefully I'm not confusing y'all. Okay, these never come out when you want them to. There we go, okay. Same thing, just some liquid glue. Okay, we're going to turn the owl over and put a dimensional on the back and then this one we're going to put two dimensionals so if you'll notice i am placing dimensionals like on top of that frame and that just kind of keeps it in place okay okay one quick note i used a stampin dimensional to hold the frame together on our original card we use scotch tape so use scotch tape that's a little bit better okay so let's uh, add our owl to the circle. Well, you know what? Let's add, let's place this here first. And then, yeah, and then this circle. Getting ahead of myself. So that's gonna go right about there. And then the owl. And then slide that under there. Yep, that looks pretty good, right? Okay, and then our greeting goes right inside here. Or we can sign our card. Chase always draws inside the card for me. And now for the last step is our embellishments. They're a little hard to see probably in the video, but we have three of them here. So we've got one up here, and then one here, and then one of the smaller ones below it. Okay, so that wraps up this card today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to head over to my blog and print your free printable. It has all the measurements and a picture. Okay, have a great day. Bye.